Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Saleh Ramadan and it's my pleasure to be with you on this series, The Complete Course to Manage G Suite. Throughout this series, we are going to cover a lot of topics and we're going to talk about many things related to G Suite and how to effectively manage your G Suite domain. I have grouped the course into nine parts and I put in consideration the functionality of each item while making each part and section. We will start by a brief introduction to this course and series and then we will take a look on an admin console and we are going to have a small tour in it to see the main areas and the most common settings and interfaces in it. Once we do that, we will then be creating our own admin console which we will be using throughout this series until the end of this course. Once our admin console is ready, we're going to take a look on each application of the core applications of G Suite. This is going to be the third part, which is going to be the most beefy part as well. So be prepared for some awesome content on this. Once we finish from all the core applications of G Suite, we will get little deeper into one specific application, which is called Google Sites. We're going to first know what is Google Sites and then we will see some really exciting use cases for this specific application. We will then be creating our own sites and we are going to publish them on the internal organization and to the internet as well. Then we'll be having a little talk about email security and email flow control. This is a very important topic for every organization out there, whether they're using G Suite or any different communication platform be it Exchange Server or Office 365. Once we finish from the security talk, we're going to take a look on the available reports in the G Suite Admin Console. We'll be looking at the audit reports and the email log search. Once we finish from the reports, we will go also deeper in some aspects of G Suite. We're going to look on Google Chrome management, data migration services, and Google APIs. And we're going to look also on some awesome tool called GAM. This is a tool that will enable us to manage our G Suite domain from our own desktop machine. Part number eight is going to be dedicated for Google Vault. And the reason that we put Google Vault in a separate part, because by default you don't get Google Vault as part of the subscription. You have to pay extra fee for it and you, you, you'll get it by the business license. We'll be looking what, uh, at what is Google Vault what its use cases and then we will be having a little security talk about Google Vault and how it should be used and how it, it, it not should be used. We will end our course by the tips and introduction to the Google Cloud Certified Associate exam, what to expect in this exam and how to register in this exam if you are interested to take it. So let's get started with our first topic in this course.